Hi, I'm Bishop John Rount from the Anglican Church of Southern Queensland. Why, oh why, oh why? Why the wars? Why all this conflict? And why is it always the innocent that suffer so much? It's right to recognise that on Good Friday we get to see how much God loves us. But using the words of John 3.16, that God so loved the world that he gave his only son. But it's also a day when we get to see how humans have a propensity for doing wrong. To take some words from Billy Graham, which somewhat dates the language, what is it in the nature of man that makes us hate and cheat and steal and kill? There is something wrong with human nature. The Good Friday story is full of the wrongness of human nature, the weakness, the betrayal, the fear and the mob passions. And in the midst of all that, a human being, an innocent human being. Picture, if you can, a man or a woman or a child surrounded by the hate and hurt of this world. It is a scene all too easy to picture this year with wars going on. The weak and the innocent beaten down by the powerful and the wicked. Have we not seen that just too many times? What good is there in hearing about that all over once again? But Christians gather this day to hear that story once again because we get to see something which changes all this around. The words of the hymn, My Song is Love Unknown, may well be sung in some churches today. In one of the closing verses we get to sing, Love to the loveless shown, that they might lovely be. This is some of the power in this story, that God in Jesus suffered for us, loved us, so that we might in turn see just how human and lovely every other human being can be. Whether they be the infant caught in the crossfire of a gunman, or indeed the gunman himself, each is loved by God. Our wars will cease, not when we eliminate the humanity in others, but when we truly recognise the humanity of others. Jesus on the cross bridges that great divide. Amen.